Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, AKA your favorite Cajun tech review. We're back with another video. Today's video, yes, I have this Motorola Edge 30 Fusion to do a quick unboxing of, but before I get into this unboxing video, check this out. Okay everyone, so I'm back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I decided to pick up the Motorola Edge 30 Fusion in magenta color. It actually has it in the blue color and in this color here. They teamed up with Pantone and you actually get some earbuds in here. And this one is $6.99 right now, normally $7.99. Without the earbuds in the blue, you can get it for $5.99. All on their website. I will have links in the description. I have reviewed many different Motorola phones and I always enjoy them. And the resale on these phones are always good too. In this video, I just want to do a quick unboxing, show y'all what's in the box, go over the specs, and just see how the phone looks overall. With the price of this phone, it does have a lot of competitors like the Pixel 7, the 7 Pro, the Samsung devices, even I think the S22 plus or s22 you can get for this price and there's many different options that you know this phone has to compete with but that's enough of me talking nice presentation from them motorola i think they had to open it to put the headphones in there because the box was already open when i got it, it says ready for ready for compatible that's their deck system in there plastic free packaging Okay, this just comes out. Let's see what we get see what's in there later. Ooh, here's the phone. Oh, look at that color. Let's see what else you get in here. You still get the charging brick, which is great. Like I said, with this set, you get the earbuds there. And then over here. You have, you have the charging cable, and then in here, I don't know what is in here. So in here you have the charging cable for the uh, headphone case, and then also some extra earbuds in there. I'm gonna put all that back in there. So, hey, look, you had a little bit more to unbox now than a regular phone, say like my Samsung Fold or even an iPhone. You have a little bit more in here to box, which is pretty cool. Nice unboxing experience, it's not boring. I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna do a review on the earbuds separately, but here they are. I'd rather over the ear headphones, but you know, we might review them. Let's see, here's the phone. But let's see what else you get in here. Oh, what? They give you a case too? So you have this little thin case, which has a weird like design on it. Could be plastic. I think that might be plastic on there. So you get a thin case, you get some books and stuff, which nobody reads in a SIM card slot. So let's move all this out the way. All right, so here is the phone. Look at that color. Oh, 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 oh. oh, look at that color. Yeah. Oh, and then the back is like this textured back, but it is a Gorilla Glass, I think five on here. All right, so the back, yes, it has a 3D finish on there. You have some brand in there. I do like that little logo. Man, this is definitely a nice phone. It is light. But I do love how that Batman. It seems a little skinny too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some comparison with the Pixel 7 just to see how that is. It does have power. Let's find my little. Moto. Hello, Moto. Let's find my stand too. That way we can go over the specs. So in that front, that display is a 6.55 inch. OLED uh, panel. It's a 1080p full HD panel, but it does have a refresh rate of 144 hertz, which is amazing. That's what you look for these days. 
you get 256 gigs of storage also 12 gigs of ram on here the, it has a snapdragon triple eight uh plus processor they did not do like the new one the gen 2 i don't know why or the, what the snapdragon 8 gen 2 i don't know why they didn't use the new snapdragon you have 4400 uh milliamp hour battery it comes with a 68 watt charging speed the rear camera you have a 50 megapixel main shooter a 13 megapixel ultra wide and then you have a depth sensor in there that front camera up there you have a 32 megapixel camera which can shoot in 4k at 30. the rear cameras can only shoot in 4k and 30 no 60 i don't know why not it does also have pre-installed screen protector on there. It has NFC, it has dual speakers on here. I love the ready, like I said, ready share feature on here with Motorola. You can use this as a desktop, but let's go over the phone itself. So on this side, you have the power button, which is Ridge. You have the volume rockers there at the top. You have a microphone on this side you don't have anything at the bottom you uh your usb type c speaker microphone and then your sim card slot but and then you have the edge here let's see i just want to check out something here's the pixel 7 it just feels like the phone is thinner because it maybe it's just taller as you can tell, it's taller than the Pixel 7. It just seems a little bit um, thinner as far as the phone goes. You can see as much as the edge, both sides are edge, the back and the front. Here's the bottom of both phones. I might do a comparison, like a video comparison between both of these phones or camera comparison to see which one has the better cameras on there. Let me go ahead and fill out everything on here, then come back and just give you a, like a first impressions of it and just see how much storage we actually have on this 256 gigs. I'll be right back, y'all. I'm gonna pause the video. Just give me a moment. Okay, everyone, so I'm back. I was able to go ahead and set it up. I've been using it for just a few minutes now, almost an hour, and I'm really enjoying it. I do love Moto phones. I, that's why I keep on reviewing them. It seems like people do love them also. The one thing is I cannot get over this color. This color is amazing. I really do like it. I love how the back is like matte finish and it has a grip to it, which is great. Then the side, I do love the sides are metal. I don't know if I mentioned in the front, but the front is Gorilla Glass 5 too. So you have Gorilla Glass in the front and the back. Here's this little case that it came with. It's just, it will protect the back of your phone and gives you a little case. I don't even know if I will rock with this because I just like the feel of the phone. Right now I am, let's see what type of storage I have. I have 256 uh, gigs and I use 30 of them. So I have 226 gigs left, which is not bad. See, as you can tell, I have my camera will focus on that. 15 gigs for just the system, and then I have about 14 gigs worth of apps on here already. It does have a built-in or in-display fingerprint scanner. It was easy to. It was pretty easy to set up. And it works pretty quick. Let's check real quick too. I don't, I don't know if it comes with face unlock or not. Doesn't have wireless charging. No type of water resistance here. It's splash, it's, it's splash resistant. It does have face unlock too, so you can definitely set that up. But overall, so far it's good. I did notice it has some bezels at the top, and then a bezel at the bottom. What the the forehead and chin, I guess. But 
This is definitely going to be a great phone to use. I want to test out the cameras on here. Shout out to Big Blue, Go Michigan. Hopefully we can beat TCU. But that's actually pretty good. Don't know what the camera's showing off, but definitely going to test out the cameras on here. Y'all let me know what other videos you want to see on this device. I will definitely try to make it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do so for more coverage on the Motorola Edge 30 Fusion. Say that all five times really quick. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Forbes Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation. Until next time, y'all, I'm out. But really enjoying it so far. Stay tuned. I might come back with like a 48-hour video also. But until next time, y'all, peace. I'm out. Y'all have a great day.